Ladies and gentlemen of the media, welcome to the Orlando Pirates versus Memorial Sundowns post-match press conference. We are joined by the away, uh, away team head coach, Coach Orlando Mugolo. Welcome, Coach. Thanks, Lady T. Uh, coach, if you may, just give us a brief summary of uh, the match from your perspective. Yeah, let me uh, start off by uh, uh, greeting members of the media. Good uh, evening to everybody. Um, yeah, the, I thought it was a difficult game, two, two good teams. Um, very, very well coached uh, opposition. Um, on, a, on a difficult pitch also. Um, <laughs> we had a little bit of a joke with the coach before because, you know, you know we've both seen the pitch in a better state. Um, and it was very difficult for, for, for rhythm, for extra pass and extra pass in some of the moments because the ball held up a little bit and so the tempo suffered a bit. And that affected our rhythm at times, but we had a very good start, uh, dominant. Uh, tactically, I think positionally we were in very good areas. Uh, and then, of, of course, we, we dealt very well with the structure of uh, rest defense to, to, to deal with the counter-attacks and never really suffered any serious situations or threats at goal apart from that, that build-up mistake where Ronan had to come through and, and help us out in the first half. And um, and we also had a couple of transition moments where we had numerical superiority and we were um, we were let down sometimes by by the wrong decision. But okay, and then in the second half you expect uh, the opposition to react and uh, they react and uh, they induce a little bit more pressure. Our line has to drop slightly. Uh, and because we had to drop the line slightly uh, and the amount of work that the front th three uh, had put on and then of course with Pombule's yellow was a little bit difficult to the subs. But then when we tried to have Maseko and uh, Morena to try to put a bit more pressure so, so that we could, we could stretch the line a little bit higher and compact the midfield. Um, we looked a little bit better, but but then of course uh, the fullbacks became a little bit more aggressive uh, because our strikers were more central instead of in wide areas like we did in the first half with Lucas and and Peter, and so that gave a little bit more aggression for for Paseka and uh, and Shand. We then had to react with that by trying to to create two v twos on the sides, but still keep. 2v2s in the centre with the two centre-backs, but it was a little bit difficult also to get momentum. Um, and you've got to credit Orlando Pirates for reacting. Uh, but then, of course, then you've got to give even more credit to Mamelodi Sundowns because we showed today that not only do we, in moments when the game needs us to be dominant, can we be dominant and, and play from the back and, and, and play good football, but when needs arise for us to roll up our sleeves and suffer a little bit, we are prepared to suffer and suffer together. And, uh, and, 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 and when I look at the game, I, I haven't yet, but when I look from that perspective, even when we did defend around the box, I don't really remember a, a clear-cut opportunity for Orlando Pirates, even when we were deep in our in in and around our box so big compliments to to the players for incredible work incredible commitment and uh, a very important victory now open for questions from the floor please identify yourself as well as the media company you represent prior to asking your question we've got our two roving mics are there any questions from the floor any questions Noted, noted. Anyone else? The point is that I don't continuously ask any questions. So can I just get three questions? First three questions. Thank you. Noted. 
Yeah. Sure, Lawrence. Not only said about the quality of your players and the quality of your coaching staff, but just um, the level of like intensity that goes into your fitness regime to get the players to be able to execute what you want to do. Like how hard is that, and how much work actually goes into that? Because you can see shifting the different schemes. Um, Rivaldo, for example, all over the place. So how hard is it to get them at that level of fitness? Mm. So it's a good point. We will have to be here the whole day. Uh, they, there's a price on every ticket. Uh, how we want to play is quite taxing. And the fact that we play every two, three days also doesn't help because the recovery and now the modern research coming out from one of the top institutes in, in the UK is saying that you, for a 90 minutes match, actually now at, 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 at the tempo that the game is being played at, uh, in the past you would need 24, maybe even 48 hours, and that's what you would have as uh, your match day plus one and your match day plus two, which were d depending on different physical methodologies and, and 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 principles mainly one would be a recovery day and the other would be a day off but depending on the preference but the latest research is that now you need a close to 72 hours for the body to completely flush out uh, not just the lactic acid that is accumulated but many other waste products that uh, affect the the body due to the exertion in in 90 minutes and then you've got to train the way you play because what we try to do is is build what i call muscle integrity uh, and the, the muscle must respond to the, the demands of the action and the regularity of the actions with very limited time in between for recovery, but I don't, I don't want to go into that. That's why I said we need so much time to talk about that because there's a very close relation between uh, and football is is no longer the genetic type of fitness that you you have. Um, f we try to 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 train in a specific way that matches directly the. The, the model or the, the the way we want to play and at times that puts us really on the threshold and that's why you know we experience so many injuries and, and muscular related injuries uh, but for sure this is a is is is, is continuous work is continuous refinement and um, but 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 that is not just only in relation to to my understanding, uh, based on my background of, of studying sports science, but also we've got an incredible uh, sports science department. Uh, we've got an incredible medical department, uh, and we've got an incredible conditioning and, and fitness department. So a lot of credit needs to go to them, and also we've got incredible football players who are, who are who are great professionals you know who look after themselves off the pitch and uh, uh, drink lots of water rest a lot and 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 train very very hard every single day so big big compliments to to the entire uh, football club uh, and 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 the players uh, in 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 these type of moments when you have this type of results with a lot of consistency, it's not about one person. Uh, the credit has to go to the entire organization, from the from the security guards at the gate there, when we arrive and they greet us with smiles, to our ground staff that we arrive and they are preparing the training pitch, to the kitchen staff uh, who are preparing the the breakfast for the players to the office administrators and a lot of people we, you, you guys don't even know who work in the finance department like Jacob and uh, Belinda and, 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 and that type of stuff because you need uh, an entire organization. Our team managers are at a very good level with uh, Tami and Kachiso. So there's a lot of, uh, lot of credit that needs to go to the entire organization from the chairman, uh, the Mutsipe family all the way down to to our bus driver and, and our ground staff.
Coach, now that you've secured your ride home and your breakfast tomorrow, can I ask you, um, were you surprised at how poorly Orlando Pirates started the game? With uh, They looked almost wilting. There was no, none, you know, especially in the face of your, your aggressive pressing, they really did seem to wilt. And how much is that a function of coaching? I mean, how much, how much is, is the revving up before a game important to get the guys, as they go out to the pitch, ready to, to, to go into battle? You are definitely very experienced, very experienced, because you put a very, very difficult question so well. I'm looking for a great answer. <laughs> That's where I'm going, because you are looking for an incredible headline. Uh, but I, I, I can't go there. Uh, I've said this before, and, I, and, I, and, 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 and it's a little bit the media's fault, because you guys wait for me. And you wait for me, and you wait for me, and and so I've learned that uh, I've got to I've got to be very very careful because I have different rules as compared to other coaches. So that question is 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 a is a double edged sword, and I I I would rather not talk about Orlando Pirates and 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 the coach of the opposition except to say that. They responded very well in the second half, and that shows that there is uh, coaching in that sense, for sure, because you get the team to respond in a, in a good way. So, uh, and, then, and then, of course, I would love to just keep my focus on Mamelodi Sundowns because uh, that's, that's, that's where my bread is buttered. One more to you, sir. I'm worried because I, I know how aggressive you'll come back, so it could be one one soon. <laughs> uh, good evening, Coach. Carole. Good evening, Carol. Good uh, evening. I mean, Coach, your, your style of football is, you know, style, sort of fitness, beauty, and all of that. But, you know, at, at some stages of the game. It's not as good as your English, by the way. You must <laughs> say. Right, thank you, thank you, Coach. Thank but, you, sir. But to be honest, when you, there's, there's that sense of when you need to go cheek to cheek, shoulder to shoulder, eyeball to eyeball, or just reduce your level you know, to the opposition, you can do that. Uh, not just Pirates, but, you know, all the teams. Maybe how do you do that? Because you on the sidelines, the players then gauge themselves, okay, which level they are at, we need to be at that level. Thank you. Thanks, Carol, and uh, big compliments to you for for your investment in, in the game. And and, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Look, we we try to play a certain way, and uh, it's a way I've always said it's a way that sometimes gets me a little bit into trouble. Uh, and also, I think it's a way that if you're not watching live at the stadium from from that perspective. You don't get to see the 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 the, the detail in in some of the things, uh, and they are, they can be easily masked by watching the game on TV, you know. And you don't really really see how good our our players are. Um, but the game of football belongs to the players, and I've just got to give them incredible compliment because they are an excellent bunch of of, of football players and and uh, incredible human beings. Uh, Coach. Good evening, sir. Yes, yes, I'm not sure. Oh, but oh, oh, you just switched it off. It was on. No, so you just go and ask. No, don't don't no. fiddle with the microphone, please. Can we get the other one? <coughs> try, try not to fiddle with the button. Just ask the question. Please, pretty please. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, Coach Miller from SAJC. Sure, uh, congratulations on, on, the, on the victory. Um, what? It's one year, 18 or 19 days um, unbeaten in the league. 100% um, win record. You look at this first seven games uh, that you've won now. You've beaten just today, you're number two from last season. Um, all different kind of teams. Um, that you faced um, in, in the seven matches. What can you say about the level of uh, competition and, and, and also um, what you faced as compared to last season um, so far? It's a, it's a good question. Um, I think the Premier League is, is very competitive. I think if you see the results, I mean, you, you just have to watch I mean, some of the results. 
every single day you've got surprises, you know. And just yesterday there were quite a couple of surprising results and um, it's not easy to, to win games in the league and that's why I say the, this team is not given the credit that it deserves because to have this mentality and to have this uh, consistency is, is, is not easy, you know. Um, and and we also always try to improve our game and try to improve the way we play and we change quite a lot of things and um, we try to be a little bit more unpredictable this season and and uh, but we've been asked a lot of very different questions by different teams. There's teams that have come very aggressive at us with high pressure and we've had to find solutions by not moving too far away from our uh, our our ideas about the game, even under the most pressure. There's teams that have set in and, and defended low. There's teams that have done a little bit of both and maybe sometimes in phases. And then there's also teams that have been extremely physical against us, extremely. Uh, so, as I said, uh, the game of football belongs to the players. We work very, very hard. Uh, I, I know the responsibility that that falls on on my shoulders as as the leader because to instill that intensity, it has to start, of course, with the type of leadership that we have to provide. And and uh, together with my technical team, I watched seven games of Orlando Pirates before this game, and uh, and. Uh, we put in a lot of hours. Um, we put in a lot of hours, Davi. Um, and but that's our job. It's, uh, it, it is what it is, and uh, we 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 just have to keep moving and keep keep uh, our feet firmly on the ground. We've now got uh, 24 hours. We've we've always had that rule: 24 hours that. Uh, I've stolen from Phil Jackson in, in basketball where he says you've got 24 hours to celebrate victories and you've got 24 hours to to feel sorry for yourself in defeat and so um, we've got 24 hours now good recovery, good rest, lots of water come back tomorrow, prepare some clips there are things that I was not so happy about and there were things that I was very happy about so we'll show the players tomorrow morning as they arrive so there's work tonight and then, and then we start the preparations for 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 the, for what will be a very important and difficult match on Saturday. Final three questions, Ms. Kepner, Timba, and Peter. Sorry, guys, I have to cut it at three. Yeah. Coach has, has answered four <coughs> questions in eighteen minutes. Yeah. So final three, please. I'll try to be shorter. <laughs> I mentioned Belinda from. <laughs> 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 My sincere apologies, guys. Sorry. Sorry for not taking all the credit. Sorry. I apologize. from Power Sure, must give Coach, in the seven matches that you say you've watched, I think Maswanga is someone that you would have seen a lot because you know, in a lot of their positive moves, all on the pirates and how they scored their goals, he was always integral. But today it looked like there was a a plan or a press around him because he was always big book said was what was that the plan was that the idea and also in terms of the subs of uh, more uh, Maseko and uh, Mendieta would you say you got what you wanted out of them or were you pleased with what they did the the greatest benefit of coaching black poison is that i get to be right at the heart of where football is and so i've seen Maswangai play uh, I've seen him play and play free, and I know what he can do. I've seen Zakele Lipasa uh, in a in a in a cup final, Black Poison versus uh, I can't remember the name. Is Nege Nege Chilas and yes, and and scoring the goal against Black Poison. So a lot of people say, ah, this one is obsessed with football. This one has got no social life. Blah 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 blah. But really, the truth is, it helps me to have so much information about who are the players coming, what they're strong at and what they're so... Uh, and that background information helps a little bit. Um, but no, we don't plan around any single individual, but it's just that we we do a lot of work in, behind the scenes and, and, and prepare. 
in relation to the, did we get what we needed? Yes, we, they needed minutes uh, after being out for quite some time, especially Tapelo Moren and Tapelo Maseko. And uh, Mendieta, we have to be a bit patient because there's a language barrier that's still there. So from a tactical uh, way, I, I've got to continue improving my Spanish uh, and and uh, keep using Marcelo Allende a lot for that. But, but yeah, slowly but surely we will get there and we'll keep improving. We've still got a lot of work to do as a team. We'll still get better and uh, and and... And we just have to keep, as I said, our feet firmly on the ground and, and, and remain focused. Thank you, Coach. Tamash Walala Chosa from Sports Coach. Show TT. Marcelo Allende, a marvel to watch. He was orchestrating everything in the middle. At some stage, he was marked by three players, but he managed to get out of such situation. How do you then channel him to have such energy? How do you then have him to be the player that he has grown to be since he came to South Africa? There are things that some players possess that you can never coach or take credit for. And Marcelo has so many of these attributes. And uh, above everything else, I can, I, there's two things about Marcelo. One is he's got an incredible football brain. I think he'll be a top coach, to tell you that. The level of tactical discussions that I have with Marcelo, he provokes my, my brain uh, so much. And then, of course, because he's surrounded by very good players, you, 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 the, your level rises because you iron sharpens iron. And when you, of course, every single day you are with the Tembazwane, you are with Teboho Mukwena, you are with uh, Peter Shalulile, Lucas Ribeiro, you are with uh, Bongani Zongo, you are training with... Uh, and then, of course, even even in the midfield, imagine uh, in small-sided games, it's a Sipombule versus versus uh, Marcelo Allende, of course they're going to get better because because of the level that they have and so they help each other and they compete healthily uh, for positions and that helps and so um, the coach can never take credit for that. It's uh, There are some things that the players have and, uh, and then as I said, the second thing about Marcelo Allende is what an incredible human being. Uh, what an uh, incredible human being. The, the 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 DTC was training on the B pitch. Uh, I, I told you the story of your, the serviettes, uh, coach serviettes. Marcelo was handing out serviettes. The, this coach, the DTC was training. The the other day after us, the kids were sitting, waiting for well the session to start. Marcelo went and hand shook, hand shook, took his cap off and hand shook each and every single one of them. I mean, I watch these things me as a as a as a as a guy from outside, and it's the small things for me that matter. It's 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 the the small human qualities for me that they matter more than football. I must tell you, Titi, being a good human being for me is is far more important than being a good footballer. Being a good footballer is a great bonus. And uh, we are just fortunate that in this team we've got some people who are just incredible footballers who happen to be incredible human beings. And they help the coach who is full of mistakes, full of flaws and weaknesses and is so imperfect. And they help me to learn and to improve myself and, and I become a better person just by being around them. Thanks, Chief. Um, my name is Mshegi from Radio Sunny South, Coach. Um, last season, um, at your seventh game, you sure. have 18 points. This season, seventh game, we have, 20, we have 21 points. Are we likely to see you do better than last season in terms of points? Because you finished at seventh game last season? So, sure. So, such a long way to go. I'm not, I, I wasn't even aware, to be honest, that we are on 20, 20, 21 points. <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> No, but I'm, you guys think I'm joking. I go, I go game by game. I, I, I'm, I am dead serious with you. I really, really go game by game. Uh, it's, it's, point, it's pointless to count points. Excuse the... What is the... Is it a pun? Excuse the pun. It's pointless to count points at this time of, of the season because no league has ever been won at this point in, in, in the season. And football being football and being so unpredictable, so much more can happen. 
And so we just have to go game by game and, and keep focused. The credit needs to go to the players for, for big improvements, not only in the performance, but also in the results. And even still with an understanding that we, we can do better and we can, we can perform better and, 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 and win more games.